Hey guys, uh, just a random 75 um, Foss Zorb update. I still have not done a single water change since I added that stuff. I'm going to do one today, that's why I wanted to make this video. But um, might be able to see it in the video. There is a little bit of brown algae on the sand in a couple of places. Um, if you'll notice, it's right along the middle every single time. There's like none up against the glass. I spaced off and left my actinics on last night. <clears throat> and uh, that's, I mean, that had to have been what's done. it. That's the first time I've seen algae so far. So, um, yeah, it seems to be working out really good. Um, everybody's doing good. Chocolate Tang's doing great. He's got a, you can probably see it, he's got a little spot on his side and it almost looks like if I had had one in there when I noticed it, I would have assumed it to be like he got stung by the anemone and got a burn on him or something, but I didn't have an anemone in here. Uh, I saw it a few days ago. It's getting better now. Maybe the trigger bit him or something. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I ran out of space. So, yeah, maybe the trigger bit him or something. I don't know. He, the chocolate tang was... He was a real dick for the first, I'd say, week. Just every everybody that swam by, he'd get up in their face and stuff, but I'm assuming he pissed the trigger off a little bit too much, but they've been getting along fine now, so. The other thing I wanted to show, I got this big-ass anemone yesterday. Got a steel on it, too. Um, no, I could be wrong. Uh, if anybody has any other ideas or whatever, let me know. Um, it was sold to me as a long tentacle, and I looked up um like identification for them and they kept saying that they have this pattern of spots on the underside of the disc which this one does have i mean it's unmistakable so at the same time i've never seen a long tentacle that's purple with green tips and it's not even like you get those crazy straight up purple ones it's not even that kind of purple um i'd say if anything right around the mouth is purple the rest of it's kind of a reddish purplish brownish color and then the tips of the tentacles are green um if anybody's i mean if anybody's got an idea if they think that's something else or some sort of morph or something um by all means let me know you know i'm not 100 percent positive so um yeah Anyways, um, I'm going to go over to the 38, too, because I've got the uh, Foss Zorb in there, so uh, let's go over here. 38's doing really good. Everything's looking great. Still haven't done a water change on this one, either. I'm going to do one tonight. Um, one thing that's I'm kind of excited about, I think it's kind of cool, if I can get this thing to focus right, I don't know, this might be a little bit blurry. I hate this camera, but um, this little Blasto. I bought it with one polyp and uh, that one on the top. And you can see these other two are almost as big as the top one already. It's only been about a month. Um, I thought my anemone killed it, but it's coming back. So, And then another thing I noticed, and I cannot get a good look at it because it's on the back. That thing just kind of popped up out of nowhere. Um, Again, if anybody's got any ideas or whatever, let me know, but I'm almost positive that's a Galaxia. And it's just growing out the back of that live rock. Um, I had a Galaxia for a long time, but the, the one I had was brown with white tips. And it was not anywhere close to that rock. Um, and to top everything else off, this wasn't even a piece of live rock I bought. If you can look at the shape and stuff, this was a dead coral skeleton that I got from my girlfriend's dad that had been sitting around for like a couple of years before I got it and stuff, so there's no way it's something that came on the rock. But uh, I, thought, I thought that was kind of cool, so. Um, I do still have a couple spots of cyano, but I mean this this whole rock right here used to be covered in it. You can still see it you know it's around that area and stuff that rock used to be covered um it was kept growing over my zoa garden there's a little bit right there um got a little bit on these rocks and stuff but 
and you know like I said I haven't done a water change on this tank either so I haven't siphoned any of it out or anything it is going away um, I'm gonna do a water change today and siphon out what I can but I I gotta say from my experience so far this phosphorb stuff is working fantastic if anything, it might be working better on my 75 because I've got it in the filter sock, so the water's falling straight on top of it. Um, on this tank, I've just got it sitting down in one of the sump chambers, so it's not really getting much flow. I was thinking about getting a, I don't know, you know, just an aqua clear filter or something to hang off the back of my sump, just to make a flow area to throw my Kemi Pure Elite and stuff in. Um, I also noticed on. Um, Marine Depot, CPR makes a little, it's like a mini tumbler media reactor thing. I was thinking about getting one of those just to throw that kind of stuff in, but yeah, everything seems to be doing really well, so anyways, have a good one guys, let me know what you think.